Hi and welcome to Kit the Table. My name is Mike. I'm with Kim, who's the designer of Monstrous. Kim, tell us about the game. Well, Monstrous uh, is a game where you play a Greek god and uh, humans have been uh, defensive and not really worshipping you enough, so you're trying to uh, basically lay the smack down on humanity to get them back into the temple and worshipping in the pantheon again. So Zeus is running a bit of a tournament, he gives all the players a bunch of monsters, and essentially you have to throw the monsters at the locations and try and get faith. Uh, each monster has their own special power, so there's a lot of combinations to trigger, like it's very, very tactical, so it's not just like playing pool with cards. Uh, each location has special powers as well, so you can see Corinth here. Gain one throw if you hit it, which is excellent, because you want to throw as many cards as you can. Uh, Naxos here, you can steal faith from people. And essentially the aim of the game is to score as much faith as you can yep. and use your monsters in every tricky tactical way you possibly can yep. to elbow all the other gods' monsters out of the way and get through to the human cities, cause as much mayhem as you can, yep. get them racing back into the temples, giving you the faith points that are in the corner of every card. And the, at the end of the game, the god with the most faith is the winner and the most monstrous god. Excellent, cool. So the game that I played, um, I really like the fact that there's a certain amount of strategy around where you want to try and position cards. It's not just chucking cards, you've got to decide where you want to go, but then you've got to really back that up with ability, because you've got to be able to land that. Yeah. And sometimes you can just kind of do like a throw across the board, and if you miss this, you might hit this, and you might hit this. So yeah, exactly. um, that could be really good. Yeah. Um, so what else comes in the game? So we've got five basic locations here and a couple of monsters. What else do we get? Well, you, each god gets a set of 12 monsters. Yep. They're all the same monsters, but they're each designed a little bit differently, so you can tell them apart. Yep. Uh, each monster has their own special ability, uh, so they're the 12 basic monsters that you play with. Yep. Uh, each of them, because they have different abilities and each of the locations has a different ability, there's all sorts of bizarre combinations. Right. There's actually 12 locations in the game, so there's a whole bunch of other locations that you can play with. And uh, you can mix and match the locations. There'll be some sort of campaign setups explaining combinations of locations to play with. Yep. But you can also free form it and just randomize or choose the locations you want. Uh, there's rules to play with kids. There's team play rules for four, six, and eight players. Right. And the game generally does two to five players. It plays in about 15 to 25 minutes, yep. depending on which locations you have. Okay. And um, for people that want to get at it, what's their best bet? Well. Um, you can find out about the game at a website, monstrousgame.com. Yep. And we're going to be kickstarting the game in probably January or February uh, in 2015. So um, if you're interested, you can sign up on the website and I'll keep you updated about when the game's going to get released. But um, yeah, it's the interesting thing about it, it's a, it's a dexterity game, but it's really a tactical dexterity game. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You've really got to choose which monster should be thrown at which location. And depending on what other monsters are on the board, your choices can change every turn. So yeah. there's always something to look at, combinations to think about, and really try to make it a you know itchy scratchy game for the brain, yep. as well as being fun, dexterous, and the theme is really about you're a god standing up around the table, throwing your monsters down at the human cities. Yeah, yeah. And a great theme. Yeah, so hopefully it's you know it seems to be going well with everybody that plays it. So the theme everybody knows about Greek mythology, and it's really um, kind of, I guess, uh, pretty primal fantasy theme that everybody can connect with. And, you know, it's fun to play a god for 15 to 20 minutes. So, right. so you know, enjoy. that's monstrous coming to Kickstarter in 2015. Kim, thank you very much. Thank you, Mark.